Welcome to Maverick Fish Hunter. Today we're in Northern Ontario, east of Lake Superior, fishing walleye and Northern Pike. We'll trail ride some UTVs, take in some awesome scenery and wildlife. Come along for the ride and we'll show you a different neck of the woods right in your own backyard. Lake Superior, the largest of the Great Lakes of North America, is also the world's largest freshwater lake by surface area and the third largest freshwater lake by volume. It is shared by the Canadian province of Ontario to the north, the U.S. state of Minnesota to the west, and Wisconsin and the upper peninsula of Michigan to the south. The farthest north and west of the Great Lakes chain, Superior has the highest elevation of all Great Lakes and drains into the St. Mary's River. Lake Superior has a surface area of 31,700 square miles, which is approximately the size of South Carolina or Austria. Duberville is a township in the Canadian province of Ontario, located in the Algoma district. Established as a company town in 1961 by the Duberville Brothers Lumber Company, Duberville was incorporated as a municipality in 1977. The town is located along the Algoma Central Railway on Highway 519, 32 kilometers east of the Highway 17. The turnoff from Highway 17 is located 40 kilometers north from the town of Wawa and 45 kilometers south of the town of White River. We're staying at the Magpie Resort in Duberville, and we're right smack in the middle of the business there. We're going to be heading out today to find a very old, original grave site in the backwoods of Duberville. You so, baby. My name's Troy Eddie McIsaac. I'll be your host for this trip. There's Raymond Dubray, their guide. Couldn't get anybody better for the job. Been here all his life. His family's been here all of their three generations, I do believe. There we go. See ya. The blue machine we're using today is a Yamaha Viking, and it's ready to conquer whatever comes its way with a powerful 686cc liquid-cooled fuel injected SOHC power plant. This engine produces strong low end acceleration and pulls hard through the RPM range to deliver excellent power for getting the job done or when hitting the trails. Well, we're back out on the road again, trying to figure out the best way to get where we're going, and that's to an uh, old historic grave site outside Duberville. Raymond hadn't been there in many, many years. There had been some vandalism from, well, we suppose use. And we're not sure exactly where it is or what kind of condition we're going to find it in. This is the Magpie River, heading down to where we're going to be fishing tomorrow. Bees are flying insects closely related to wasps and ants, known for their role in pollination and, in the case of the best known bee species, the western honeybee, for producing honey and beeswax. Oh, perfect. There are over 16,000 known species of bees, and all in peril. Northwest Territories, ragged ass road. <laughs> Well, we've just run into clue number one, an old abandoned mine site, processing site. Some of the tailings. You've seen that show where they show buildings and cities in a hundred years. Well, this is about what you'll end up with. Really picturesque, kind of eerie, really. And by the sounds of it, we're getting pretty close. We're crossing the Magpie River once again. Clue number two, old snowmobile beside the road. <laughs> the 
The sandhill crane is a species of large crane of North American extreme northeastern Siberia. Adults are gray overall and the average weight of the large males is 10 pounds while the average weight of females is 9 pounds. Raymond started the vehicle up and scared them off. <laughs> well, we're here. We made it. We found it. There was only three good stones left. It's kind of eerie, kind of peaceful at the same time. Welcome back to Maverick Fish Hunter. Say hello to my little friend. Let me introduce you to our co-host, Noemi Tremblay. She's up from Montreal, visiting Dubreville, and has agreed to come out and do some fishing with us. Got ourselves a little pickerel, a little walleye there, side hooked. We're doing some in-place jigging in a little hole. And we're bringing up some little guys, no keepers. They're consistently getting a little bit bigger, but mm, this is our first day. We're, we're going to let these guys go back and see if we can't get into some little clunkers. For a shore cook, that's about the right size. Catch and release all day. Little guy after little guy after little guy. We're using worms and minnows. Worms work just as well as the minnows did. Get a little bigger yet. The smile on her face. Good to know girls like it outdoors as well. Right on. I'm just telling Noemi we gotta pack her in. We gotta UTV rally to go to. Every year, the ladies of Dubreville organize a breast cancer rally to Wawa, Ontario. Whoa, baby. Reel that thing in. There we go. And off we go. All females, well, except for the lady showing her junk and myself. <laughs> really nice machines. Well, when you live up there, you can ride them right on the road. It's a bylaw that's legal. You can ride UTVs and ATVs on the road. Man, that's... Uh, I'd move up there just for that. Make sure you bring your English-French dictionary, that's all. Now we were riding in that BRP-1000. Nice little machine. It threw quite a bit of engine heat up through the transmission under the dash area, but boy, that was a lot of fun. A lot of pick up and go. Noemi and I had a good time running the roads. We even took off one time for a little bit. Can-Am's versatile side-by-side -side equipped with the essentials to tackle off-road landscapes everywhere. Count on industry leading performance, precision engineering handling, and ride folks thrills. And we're heading back. Thought we'd switch it out. Let Noemi take the wheel for a little while. Sure can handle a thousand cc UTV, no problems. Felt real confident driving with her. I think this girl was born to be outdoors. A little drone action. Hey, hang on, boy. Well, we're back with the parade. We're heading up to, we're probably quarter of the way to Wawa. We're gonna let the ladies take it by themselves for the rest of the way. Here's their rally point. We'll just take one little drive by and see all the machines, say hi to the girls. Hey girls, true northern girls, clean a deer, clean a moose, and cook it up for supper. Real friendly bunch, 
Oh, hey. There's the lady man again. <laughs> All right, well, we're heading back to town. We'll get turned around here and boot her home. Pulled over for a blueberry break. Awesome. Cultivated blueberries don't have anything on wild blueberries. We only got lost once. Wasn't a big deal. All right. Good day. Goodbye. We're heading down to the Magpie River and do some fishing for day three. Northern Algoma, Ontario. These are the Maverick fish bags, saddle catch bags. And they just strap on the front horn underneath the seat and around the back and they're locked in, stable as anything. They're all insulated, saddle bags, catch bags. Scotty leashes for the rods, ram rod holders for our rods, front and back. Has a Maverick rod holders in the front. Stow all our gear. Okuma rods and reels. I use them exclusive. Have for years. Beautiful, beautiful gear. <clears throat> Uh, jet skis are so easy to put in. I mean, you can do it by yourself, but if you've got two people, I mean, it's licked. One of my favorite skis for TWC fishing is the GTX 155 Rotax motor. Dependable, non-turbo, charged. You don't want the gas usage. You want gas mileage. Setting up some cameras, trolling along, having a few laughs. Mm, great day on the water, beautiful weather, beautiful sunshine. Now oh, we need some fish. Come on, fish! The walleye, also called the yellow pike, is a freshwater pariform fish native to most of Canada and to northern United States. It is North American close relative of the European Xander also known as the pike perch. The walleye is sometimes called the yellow walleye to distinguish it from the blue walleye, which is a subspecies that was once found in the southern Ontario and Quebec regions, but is now presumed extinct. In parts of its range in English-speaking Canada, the walleye is known as the pickerel, though the fish is not related to the true pickerels. Walleyes show a fair amount of variation across watersheds, in general, fish within the watershed are quite similar and are genetically distinct from those of other nearby watersheds. The species has been artificially propagated for over a century and has been planted on top of existing populations or introduced into waters naturally devoid of the species, sometimes reducing the overall genetic distinctiveness of the populations. We're back out on the water for round two, an afternoon. Pickerel, walleye, and northern pike. I'm just going over some strategy. It's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna do some trolling. And I lied completely. We're it's gonna do some jigging. <laughs> I think I just caught some bait. Not only did I get fired as a narrator, I can't catch fish with my hand worth anything. The girl had to help me out get a net and well, lots of beauty. Well, we're getting there now, but not quite. Not quite yet. There we go. Well, that's getting even a little bit better now. I think we kept that one. Now we're doing some trolling. Making Honest Joe out of me yet. I'm just going to be quiet here and enjoy the ride, enjoy the day, enjoy the music, 
We'll catch up to you in approximately 87 seconds. Okay, I'm going to break my promise for just one second. This is why I love fishing from a jet ski PWC. Not only do you catch fish like crazy, but you got a fine time riding around the lake on your water hog. Say what? Northern pike is a species of carnivorous fish. They are typical of brackish and fresh waters of the northern hemisphere. Pike can grow to relatively large size. The average length is about 16 to 22 inches with a record length of up to 59 inches. That's a big boy. And published weights of 63 pounds. <laughs> can you imagine? The northern pike gets its common name from its resemblance to a pole weapon known as the pike. Northern pike are most often olive green, shading from yellow to white along the belly. The flank is marked with short, light bar-like spots and a few too many dark spots on the fin. Sometimes the fins are reddish in the older mature species. For everyone that's not familiar with Northern Ontario, let me tell you where the Magpie River is. A little bit about it. Magpie River is a river in Algoma District, Northeastern Ontario, Canada. The river empties into Michibicotton Bay on Lake Superior near the town of Wawa. The river drains an area of about 734 square miles there are also several hydroelectric plants on the river. The largest hydroelectric is at Steep Hill Falls. I've seen that. Upper Magpie Lake is a lake in the Lake Superior Drainage Basin in Algoma District, Ontario, Canada and the source of the Magpie River. It is about one mile long and 0.4 miles wide and lies at the elevation of 1,378 feet. Primary outlet is the Magpie River, which flows into the Lake Superior. We're going to let this guy go. We've got several in the bag, enough for a shore lunch. This is a cool product. It's a live well. Top cap, bottom cap. Has a little bucket inside. Keep your minnows alive. Change out the water. So when the water gets stale or warm, swap it out. Perfect. The bait to go bucket has a Velcro sticky on it and it works perfect in the saddle bag. Look at that beauty. Now we're talking. 
That's a pretty walleye, that one. Yeah. For those of you unfamiliar with Northern Ontario, the statistical region has a land area of 806,000 kilometers squared, 310,000 miles squared, and constitutes 88% of the land area of Ontario. But with just 780,000 people, it contains only about 6% of the province's population. The climate is characterized by extremes of temperature, extremely cold in the winter, and hot in the summer. The principal industries are mining, forestry, and hydroelectricity. Well, the day's winding down. Here's our catch. We've got a bunch of pike, a couple of walleye. Dougie, our host, had a few as well. We're just doing up a shore lunch. This is a beautiful piece of kit right here. Check it out. Burner on one side, tank, tray, cast iron. Man, that's a setup. This stuff was real good. We made some really nice batter, spiced it up proper. Wow, what a day. What a way to end three days on the water, on the trails, northern Ontario, northern Algoma. Great company. Just loved it. Looks like Noemi belongs in the north. Great girl. Thank her for coming out, helping us out with the show. Uh, she's a good sport. Fed everybody. Must have been seven, eight, nine of us. Well, thank you from Maverick Fish Hunter and everybody the work to put this show together. Here's a shot of a bald eagle on Magpie Lake, Magpie River, Dubreville, Ontario, Canada. Tight lines, everybody. Come on back and see us. Hey, buddy. <laughs>